an intro to the intro to the haul video that's getting released tonight at 6 p.m. May 24th. But we wanted to throw something in here because tonight I'm going to be on the Nurse Flipper, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So come on over and join in the fun there. And just another reminder, no live tomorrow. We are unavailable. And then just remember to come back next Wednesday when it'll be Lori and Elizabeth um, and I. All right, let's move on to the haul. Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today we're going to be doing hopefully um, several haul videos. It's just we've been getting organized down here. I know you guys can't see it but a lot of the clothes have been moved out to the building already um, and I'm starting to make room on the shelves for incoming and then we're going to have shelves for stuff that I've already done haul videos on but not listed and Hopefully we're getting systems in place that's going to make this a whole lot easier. So what you're lot. saying is you took over my yes. my future dreams of a man space in the shop and a woodworking thing so I could get away from you and polluted it with eBay storage. Yes, it... but, but the clothes were your idea, right? He wanted to do clothes. We ran out of space. So the clothes were in his side. I say that you subliminally planted that in my mind so that I would suggest mm -hmm. it and then it would be my fault when it was actually your suggestion to start with. Maybe when we get old and rich, we'll uh, build you your own little thing. Sometimes old comes without the rich, though. <laughs> I think that's going to be us. We're heading in that direction. <laughs> All right. I'm going to just... A lot of this is from estate sales, yard sales... I haven't been hitting the thrifts very much because I just have so much stuff. So I'm just going to, it's from different times and different places and different weekends, but I need to just get this stuff processed. Because we didn't have, we didn't have time to get to it all. So some of it's from like three weeks ago it that is. we didn't get to. And then... I just emptied my car yesterday from yard sales two weeks ago. So it's just, I just have so much and that's a blessing. It is. But eBay needs to get on the side of my blessings, too. So, all right. I'm going to just start showing you some of the things that I picked up. A lot of these, I may not know comps on because we are just kind of finding things that we don't normally find just for the learning opportunity. And hopefully, you know, I'm sure because we buy st stuff, stuff at such low prices there's profit to be made but a lot of it is learning experiences for us and, and most of it when you say we don't have a comp we would look up a comp while we're there to, to see what things like this are selling for right and not everything not everything like this i just loved it vintage valentine cards i'm not quite sure how old but they definitely look old y'all i can watch right here to make sure you guys are seeing kind of cool um so it was just a box i think she charged me a dollar for all of it but you know i even have the original envelopes so just i'm not sure how i'll list them maybe small lots um we'll just have to wait and see and then i just had had to have this i don't even know i think i paid probably two or three dollars for it but it's one of those just little candy dishes. Usually I see them with like, I want to say chickens, right? Roosters. But this one was a cute little bunny rabbit. I'm trying to see if you guys can see. Oh, there we go. Got to hide my face so it doesn't see my eyes. Oop, go that way. There we go. Look how cool. Made in Japan. Look, y'all. How adorable. Again, no idea. Maybe Google Lens will be my friend, but if not, I'll just find something that looks similar. It is larger, so I'm hoping that it's worth some, you know, $10, $15. And then again, I had to get it. Look how cute. This one, again, I'll try to hide my face. See if you guys can see it there. Look, Japan with a rainbow. If any of you guys know what these are, How cute. I think I was paying probably a dollar or less on most of this. 
and I think Robert picked this up. What'd she charge us? Like five dollars, ten dollars? We'll see. No, it's like five dollars. Five dollars. But it's just it's a bag of the pins. What are they called? Like the March of Dimes or they're, they're U.S. stamps, if I remember oh. correctly. Okay, I'm gonna open one up just to show you guys. And they have their little certificate of authenticity in them. Seasons greetings, 1981. There we go. And it's just a whole bag of them. It's prop. Oops. All right, probably a dozen or more of different ones. Again, I didn't. We didn't do comps on them. I just thought it was very unique. Oh, these stamps. Yes. I did the stamps. I actually comped while we were there. They were going from like five to nine dollars each, depending on which one it was. So. That's good. That's good. All right, and then this next thing, I paid five dollars for it at an estate sale. Just, well, and then I paid three dollars for the, another part of it. These, these do really well. I'm not quite sure if it's just nostalgia. This one's marked something, I can't read it. Can you read it without me spilling it? <gasps> Don't, you're gonna pull these out on top of me. <laughs> it's like, guilt wood? Okay, Maybe. something like that. And when I saw this, I thought, well, shoot, it's missing one. And then right next to it was this, was a bottle full of more of the bottles. So I'll be able to fill this one in, and then I can sell the rest of these as replacements. But like you can see, I paid $5 for it. Always watch for these wooden spice shelves. I bought a box of toys. I want to say they charged me five dollars, but I could be wrong, and it was ten. But it had a bunch of well, this this is a loving family dollhouse. Love it. Um, needs a battery change. I've never had the black one before. This was also in there. This is Fisher Price. I think this is the Hideaway Hollows. They were the wrap. Hideaway Hollows. I think that's it. Rabbits. So, and oftentimes, some of the, well, this one, a lot of times a piece of these might be missing. And even if I had found this and it was missing, I probably would have sold the pieces as replacements. And then this is a little Kelly doll tree house with a slide. I think there's like mixed Barbies, Loving Family, um, Hideaway Hollow stuff. I think this might be Loving Family, just fence pieces. This might be Barbie, not sure. Gotta hide my face. Then there you go. I think so. But it could be um, Loving Family. They all just kind of look the same. I'm thinking that calf is this. This is Kelly Barnyard, and I have some more animals in there, so I have a feeling all of that went together. So I may just do the whole thing as one Kelly lot. Some kid must have thrown these in there. These are little um, Cinderella kid shoes. Usually these are worth a couple of dollars. If not, I may throw them in my booth. And then, here, I'll just kind of do it. It's just a whole lot of little left. I think some of it's mostly Barbie. Let me just clear this table in front of me. Robert grabbed this. Was this at half price or whole price? I can't remember. It's been too long. Yeah. We either paid five or two fifty. It says I'm gonna have to peel the sticker because oh Francoma pottery. I don't think I've heard the crazy lamp lady talk about Francoma. It was in the forty dollar range if I remember right. Yeah, look how cute that is. That was at an estate sale. Yep. Very nice. Like I said, we're trying to do different things. I think Robert picked this up. I'm trying to get all of this. I thought it was really cute. 
Ooh. It opens up to a little scene. I'm telling you guys, there's a big variety of stuff here. I think this, a lot of this was stuff Robert picked up. Do you remember how much? Dollar each. Dollar each. Snapback hats. They're not vintage or anything, but I think they'll still you sell. Know, Ten or fifteen dollars, probably. This is the uh, real, real tree. Real tree, I think so. Look at this. I walked around carrying this. I think they charged me five dollars. Let me get this keyboard out of the way. This was at a church that we stopped at. Yeah, five dollars. Trying to hide my face, y'all. Come on. I think I can get that name off easily. And it was Catitudes by some name I can't read right now. No glasses, but I'm sure I'm sure this will come off with alcohol. I think I comped it like twenty, twenty-five dollars. Joyce Shelton? Joyce Shelton, yeah. And then Coffee mugs. I've been doing a whole lot of coffee mugs. This one was 25 cents at that same sale. But it had a name on it. Starla. It's like Starla Half Moon. So the fact that it had a signature on it. And it's just very neat. I didn't do comps on it. So hopefully. Oops. This way. I think most of this was from that sale. This was 25 cents also. Look how cute. Parade, and it has a something on the top there. It's a news. Parade was a magazine, like a music, I want to say music or entertainment magazine. And it has something with New York. Let's see if it'll. Or, you know what? I think it's in the newspaper. Maybe. I can't remember. There it is. Our name is Ma Mud, New York City. So. And Robert bought this two dollars it's to hold Dixie cups and it says marbled dispenser somebody originally had it I think in a booth for like twenty dollars and when you say marbled it's not marble it's no plastic. it's plastic but we paid two dollars at that sale for it but you did comps right I don't know if it was real marble, but there was one that looked just like that. That was, I want to say $49 or 50, 40 or $50. We'll see. I'll put a comp. But I know I have bought vintage Dixie cups before that were still in their box. And I did very well with them. And I have purchased vintage Dixie cup dispensers. Especially the, the character ones tend to do really well also. More advertising. This is a local bank. To SunTrust. I liked it though. Just look, it had this like yellow glass bottom. Paddington, I always pick him up. I tend to do well with it. And then look, I had to get it. 50 cents. It was these um, Cookie Monster name badges. It's a whole bag of them. So I think I might um, do a multi-quantity listing on them because it looks like they're all sealed and there's four packs of them. And now I just had to get this. $1.50. I might keep it for myself because my wallet has a, a little zipper part for change, but my money's in there also and I'd rather keep my change separate. But look, it's made out of those like gum wrapper, candy wrappers says it's a candy wrapper purse for a dollar fifty and then let's see this is another Robert buy paid five dollars for it it says it's a movie box pinnacle systems did you do comps on this I'm Around sure you did 40 or 50 I forget 40 to 50 not sure how you're gonna test that do you list it untested I think the un I think it was untested. they were untested for forty or fifty. Then okay, I'm gonna pick them up and then put them back down. Robert bought all of these at that same church sale. I think it originally they wanted two dollars, but because we bought them all, she agreed to a dollar fifty. But there are these graphic audio 
books. And it says six hours on seven CDs. We did open up every one of them to make sure all the CDs were there and the CDs were in excellent condition. There was one that didn't, that was missing one CD. Oh yeah. So it was a good thing we went through them. Yes. But it's just a whole lot of these. It looks like all of them are that, are they all this James Axler? It's all that same series of. Oh yeah. So I'm not sure if I'm going to list these all as one lot or if I'll list each separately. I didn't do comps. You did, right? Around $10 each. About 10 each. So can't beat that. And then I noticed in the Christmas area, I picked this up. I was surprised all this was still there. This is Kurt Adler. Look. Cute ornament. I just I think they charged me one dollar. Yeah, one dollar for it. So I didn't even do comps on that. I always pick up Kurt Adler, and of course we all know to pick up Christopher Radko. So Rebel's been fired <laughs> for being scrawny and weak. And uh so it's a heavy typewriter. It was five bucks at a yard sale. The lady said somebody had told her it was worth like three or four hundred, and it is two to four hundred. It's an old IBM. Um, I kind of like being out here. I'm going to stand in the wrong place, say crazy stuff. Wait, let me look to the side of the camera instead of the end of the lens. What else can I do wrong? <laughs> make, make, you got to edit this part too. Now your head's chopped off too, like you were chopping mine off. Yes, because you're shorter than I am. So. What can I say that's really, 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 really wrong? Wait, this <clears throat> is a snowman. And, all right, paid five bucks. It's worth a couple hundred. And he gets to pack it. I didn't like that part. You come back around here. <laughs> we went to, this has been probably, this got buried under some clothes. But this was like, I think the only thing we bought there that day because everything was crazy priced. But this was hanging on a door. It was $3. It's one of those huge matchbox um, over the door hangers. See, I want to say it was $20, $25, but it might've been more, but my brain is saying um, 20 to $25 for it. I didn't realize. <laughs> Would I have bought it if I, I paid $5 for it? I don't like spending $5 on stuff. It is a vintage juice machine for a Hot Wheel. It is in excellent condition. So I, I probably still, I'm the type once I get up there and I start asking, usually I won't put something back unless it's just, I think it's a dollar and they're wanting to charge me like 10. So I did pick this up. I, I don't remember comps on it. I'm hoping over $20, $25. I've had these before, but I've never had it with the box. So This was from a subdivision cell. Now, I've been going to quite a few subdivision cells, and when you get there, there's like two, maybe three if you're lucky. But this one was actually pretty good. So... I think almost everything in this bag. The problem with a lot of these subdivision cells these days is their prices are ridiculous. Is this the one where you left because there, there weren't two sales. There were like 20 sales and there were so many cars you couldn't drive through? No, that... not this one. This one was over by um, the school in the Boone's Creek area. So... I don't remember everything that I paid. Most of the plush was either probably a dollar or less. Um, you know, it was it was either I bought a bunch at one place or I bought nothing at, at the next place. It, it's supposed to make sense. Oh, it does work. I don't even know how to make it do it, but I just did. Oh, no. I'll have to figure it out again. But I th this is Psyduck, I think, from Pokemon. And then this is Commonwealth 1992. I love the vintage Commonwealth. Just look how nice, fluffy, just very cute. I'm hoping on this probably $20, $25. It's a dog. It's clean. It's old. <laughs> this isn't a, it's Disney. 
Oh no. I don't know, is it, I don't know, wait. It says, oh, the Animal Kingdom. So it doesn't go to a particular cartoon. Again, I probably paid a quarter or 50 cents for it. Look. You, ever, you ever watch that Wild Kingdom when you were growing up? Mm-hmm. Mar what was his name? Marlon Perkins. Mar Marlon Perkins. And he always sent yeah. that young fellow out to like walk with the lions or whatever, and I yeah. was waiting for him to get killed. Look, 25 cents. This is Jelly Cat. I've not had this one before. No clue. I'll have comps. Oh, see, I keep going the wrong way. I'll have comps. And let's see. I don't know if there was another piece to this or not. This is Frozen. Fisher Price Little People. It is, I think, no, not musical. I paid two dollars for it. I can't leave little people behind, especially when it's relatively inexpensive. I don't think the Frozen stuff does as well as some of the other sets, though. Again, another um, Disney. This is Marie from Aristocats. I pick them up whenever I find them, but they're not high dollar. This will be bread and butter, probably six to eight dollars. Daniel Tiger. He was a dollar. Good sounds. Good sounds. Um, he was a dollar. A lot of times when I get them, right here is just covered with fuzzballs. Just, but this one was in really great shape. Again, I think he's bread and butter, like eight to ten dollars. This is Animal Adventure. It says Preservation Partners. I'm trying to see if there's a name for the fox. I think his name is Felix the Fox. Very clean, very nice. I probably paid one or two dollars for him. Ooh, I got stuff about the fall. All right. Where's Perry? Perry the plat platypus. And this one does make sound. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. I think he's supposed to, and he did. Oh, there we go. I want to say he's like 15 to 20, maybe. I'm not big on what I would call modern cartoons. And I know this is kind of old. I mean, mm -hmm. relative to 2022. I don't even know if they still make these. I don't know. But uh, when RJ used to watch this, I always enjoyed this cartoon. Because Doofenshmirtz. Wasn't that his Doofenshmirtz name? Doofenshmirtz Evil Doofen Incorporated. Yes. But it was such a neat cartoon. And there was always like a bit of history or science or something slipped in there somewhere. And... I always enjoyed it, but RJ kind of outgrew it and didn't outgrew like it, it anymore, and I was disappointed when that happened. Yeah, I don't find Perry the Platypus very often anymore. There for a while, I always had him in stock. Didn't you say the sister, Candace? Candace. Sells really well? Candace. Definitely. I've had her a couple of times, and she does, when I say very well, at that time, it was probably over $20. This is Animal Alley. 2000 Toys R Us. I paid a dollar for it. I think the, are these like a silky terrier, something like that. Again, Google Lens always ends up telling me the breed. Um, I'm hoping like 15 or so for it. This is, of course, Disney from Lilo and Stitch. I didn't watch sub subsequent ones. So I'm not sure. I don't think this is Stitch, though. I think it's another character like Stitch. I could be totally wrong, and I'm sure somebody will let me know. But I had to pick it up. Again, I think it was quarter or 50 cents. <sighs> Love. This is House of Hatton. Love that. I'm always on the lookout now for either ornaments, um, decor, and then I've, I've got a baby blanket, and then here's a little Santa rattle. Love it. I'm hoping like $12 to $15, if not a little more. I think I paid a dollar a bag. These are the McDonald's Wizard of Oz things. Did have um, some of the little yellow brick roads. I just, I thought I had another one, but I'm not seeing it. Probably going to list it like, I don't know, $12 to $15, but sometimes... I've done well with these selling them individually, so I'll have to check and see. Here's some more of the 
puppy surprise. And then there's something else was in here. Oh, I don't know what they are. Hopefully Google Lens will help me. I'm trying to... I have two of them. And then two of the puppy surprises. These are the more contemporary. They're not the vintage. Usually I put like these $7.95, $9.95 for like two of them. But then I'll have to figure those two out. I believe I paid a dollar for this, but it's just a bunch of the Ninja Turtles. There were, there was one that still had his weapons in the back. As you can see there, I'm about to lose them. I will probably more than likely list these individually. Some of them might only be $5. The one with the weapons might be a little bit more. Just depends on condition and age once I start really looking at them. This was $3 KitchenAid. I thought, why not? You know, usually this type of stuff as replacements is good and it didn't even look like it had been used. So I think Robert will go ahead and try to look this up. But it's one of the mixer attachments. I might not get to keep this. I picked it, I did pay $5 for it. It was funny because I looked at it and I sighed. You know that sigh I give Robert sometimes because I thought I can't leave it back just because RJ might want it. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed it. I'll have to send him a picture. I forgot about it. So I'll send him a picture and see if it's something he wants. But it was one of those, you know, even if he ain't there, I'm gonna buy it for him. Always, always, always. Rodney Reindeer. I think this one is Ramona. I usually list these between $15 and $20 each. This said Magic Years. It's a rattle. So I went ahead and picked it up. It does have some little green stains on it. I will probably try to take alcohol. If it's a marker, it should come straight off and then I'll run it through the wash. But a lot of times I can get like $9.95 for these. And then had to pick it up. Just a little, what are these called? Sun Catcher Mickey Mouse. Probably somebody made it, but I did only pay 50 cents for it. I'm thinking at least like $8 to $10 for it. Um, if you look real close, you'll oh, notice did that's, I not, say Mickey Mouse? that's not Mickey Mouse. I Mouse. caught myself too. I caught myself. Okay. We're starting that and all over. Yeah. Okay, Bugs Bunny. This is what happens when your brain is moving on to the next thing. But at least he caught it this time because y'all, he didn't catch the lion. Remember the lion? He's supposed to have my back and he didn't have my back. I've already even forgot. I just bought some more pots and pans this weekend. These are celebrity. Stainless steel. So all I'm finding out right now. Can you look these up and see what they sold for? But I got two pans, or what are these called? Like fry pans. And these are very clean. I'm not even going to have to put them in the pile to clean. And then, oh, look. Has the egg trays. And then a big saucepan. So, I think, I think we paid, I paid $10 for them at a yard sale that I went to with my sister. Or was it with you? I don't remember. I don't think so. I don't think it was with me. I was with, was with my sister. You didn't find anything? No, nothing, not in a quick search. Yeah, I'll try to find comps on them. But the, anytime you pick up a, a pots and pans and they're heavy... They're stainless steel, and, and they, you need to look them up. And they have a, th a thick bottom. Thick, yes. Very thick. But look, these you can tell haven't hardly been used. Um, but if you pick them up and they are aluminum, almost always no. All right. And then last, Robert picked this up this weekend. But look how cool. Now, Carol painted this in 1976. It's like a big old piece of driftwood. That's not driftwood. That's barn wood. Oh, barn wood. But it's just very, 
the colors are still, it's, you know this wasn't displayed like outside at all because the colors are very bright still. No clue how much we're going to list this for. It was $4 and I thought, surely you can get $4 back out of that. You can just tell. Just, I loved it. Loved it. This camera that we're using now doesn't keep a timer, so I don't know how long this video is. So we're going to go ahead and close this one out. But we're probably going to turn right around and get another one going because I've got lots to do. Lots to show you guys. All right. Bye.